So I'm going to take in my milk paint and go and put some color on a brick, a kind of like dated brick fireplace. So follow me along to see how this goes. Let's, let's do it. So I started out the night before I went to the customer's house and I put an application of one part to water, one part to milk paint by Fusion in silver screen and I applied a bit of it just so that we could see what this color was going to look like against her wall colors and I do feel like and the customer as well felt like it was maybe a little too white it wasn't really covering up the red brick enough and um, it was a little bit too close to her wall color so then I thought okay I'm gonna come in with the Gotham gray and see how that goes so I took the TSP alternative by fusion gave the entire fireplace a good scrub down and then I mixed in some Gotham gray one part powder one part water mixed it all tried to get as much many of the lumps out as I could and then I started my application so here I am applying the Gotham gray to the brick um, it was a watered down one part powder to one part water um, it was absorbing very nicely into the brick I was actually quite surprised I had never painted this kind of a surface before. I've been wanting to try milk paint on a brick or concrete type sur surface for a long time and I was really impressed with how easy it went on and dried very very quickly. Once I got to the area that I had previously painted the silver screen on, I actually had a really amazing discovery that I didn't expect to see. I didn't predict this beforehand, but of course you have a lighter color underneath and then you go over it with a darker color. When I started to just get it on with a drier brush, I couldn't believe the difference between this just flat opaque color of the just plain Gotham Grey in comparison to the dry brush of the Gotham Grey over top of the silver screen. Now that was the look we were going for. So I had to make some changes in my process and it was a learning experience so then I was like okay we're going to go full-on silver screen and Gotham Grey over top so here I am taking the silver screen now again same one part water one part powder um, the Gotham Grey had dried so fast um, that it was already I didn't even have to wait I just went and mixed it up and then I was ready to cover the entire brick fireplace with one coat of silver screen and this is what it would have looked like just with the silver screen. It was a little bit too light for what the customer had in mind. And so that is why I decided to do the whole thing with this dry brush of Gotham Gray. Here you can see I don't have a ton. I'm, it's not really dripping or, or anything. I have a dry brush. I'm using quite a watered down one-to-one -one mix again but I really just dry brushed it on so that I wasn't getting in all those nooks and crannies the silver screen was able to show through the Gotham gray so we went from the red brick to the silver screen to the silver screen with Gotham gray dry brush over top what do you think would you want your fireplace updated this way with milk paint by fusion come down to Missy Hay Collective and you can see the milk paint we have in selection um, or if you'd rather hire me to do this for you I would be happy to come into your home and do it for you thanks for watching